okay, okay, okay. Okay, shallow warm here. Keep this bad boy close to me today. We were situated. We'll show the traffic. Show how heavy this area is the traffic. Highways and byways, baby. All praise, honor, and glory to the hall. Go to the hall of God. Walk into the hall, go to the hall of God. Go to the hall of God. Go to the hall of God. All right, good waters to the apostles of Great Millstone. All right, the elders, GMS. The salutation of peace and blessing. Much blessings to your hopeful elect and fellow laborers. All right, the people of Negro and Indian descent that make up the 12 tribes of Israel. Okay, Israelite foreigners. As well as continuing to do the work of the Lord and the ark of the women and are humbling yourself to learn this one and escape the pollutions of this filthy ass world. Alright, um oh, let me find my shit. Alright, so here we go. Prophecies is taking place, things is a lot of things is happening. A whole lot of things has happened. It's verifying that the prophecies that the Bible was written in this book. It's coming to, it's, it's true, you know? You got this scripture that mentions how the Most High is not a liar. You say something's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. You ask a nigga for a dollar, <laughs> he'll tell you he'll give it to you, but he'll straight up avoid your ass for the rest of, uh, for as long as he possibly can. But anyway, speaking about these prophecies, things is happening. Oh, look at my glasses. Look at my glasses here. Yeah. Glasses. Where are my glasses? Here we go. This is beautiful, man. Winter's winter winter's kicking in. And, you, and I'm gonna read before I begin. Speaking about this thing with the dark winter. As far as this dark winter goes. Because this devil is orchestrating his plan. His plan that he always had in motion from the from the um, from the moment he conceived this sorry ass fucking nation, man. You know, from that very moment on. Okay, let me grab the scripture here so I can read the, uh, what I wanted to read. It says, this is Habakkuk 2. You know what? Well, I like to do a lot of now. I like to read the NIT as well, right along with the King James Version. <laughs> it's a new weapon we added to our arsenal. <laughs> you know? Jake always asking, what Bible are you reading from? What Bible are you reading from? You know? Same Bible you reading from. Same one. <laughs> the rumors of the wars and those rumors of wars, man. This place ain't playing. These devils ain't playing, man. And 
they're making damn sure that this third war, World War III, the, what the scriptures refer to as the War of Armageddon, 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 they make it damn sure this war happens, man. And they make it damn sure that you niggas get caught up in it. You know? They make it damn sure of that. That you niggas mentally and physically, y'all gonna be caught up in this world. Mentally and physically, because physically is what I mean by y'all bowing down to that witch's serum, dumbass. That's what the fuck you get. Oh, come on. Internet acts like it don't want to fucking work now. Come on. Hold on. That's Satan in the camera with this shit. Shit here. Here we go. Here we go. Vision. These motherfuckers bugged out. They in pain and suffering. Don't know why, man. But, but they gonna continue ignore the the, the the answer. But they gonna they gonna continue on their destructive path, man. I mean, all these goddamn dumbass jakes, man. Here we go. Advocate 2. Okay, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower, and I will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. So I got a little... <coughs> Little head cold. Probably called it somebody's uh, granddaughter. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. And that appointed time is that time we're living in now, man. You know? That appointed time is time, that time we're living in now that what you're if you're watching, you'll you'll be you'll you'll be seeing. You'll be seeing the the uh the prophecies taking place. Uh, well, we always tell you that things that's going on in the world, we equate it right back to the scriptures. You know, that's what we do. We equate it right back in the scriptures just to, it proves that the word of the Lord is speaking to you. It's trying to talk to you. It's trying to, it's trying to grab your attention and trying to, you know, that's the whole point of the Bible being uh, 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 mass produced. That's the whole point. Being in his last days, the Lord got his prophets out here on his, on his highways and byways, you know. To speak to all of you, you know? It may look like we're talking to the air, but best believe the word of the Lord does not go out, uh, 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 does not go out void, man. It affects everybody. The people riding by, it affects everybody. Just seeing the man of the Lord and the men of the Lord out doing the work of the Lord, you know, it still affects them, you know? Because once that vision gets in their mind, once they see it, they can never erase it. <laughs> So the time is now that I'm speaking of, <coughs> that the scriptures are speaking of. So it says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. And here you got Israel beating that uh, war drum, those uh, Edomite uh, Israelis beating that war drum, you know, and they're making it plain and simple. They broadcast it to the world and they're letting the world know that we, we, we are going to attack Iran. And that's what they're saying. We are going to attack Iran. And it's just a matter of fucking time, man. There ain't no shit that's like, they're gonna keep bickering back and forth, back and forth, bombing each other's proxies. 
you know, for years, for years. And that's what people think, man. This is just, oh, it's just normal. It's just going to go on years and years and years. No, no, no. Right now, those proxy wars are going to happen. And eventually, those proxies are going to turn into a, a, a hot war. But right now, a cold war is going on where they're building up missiles. They're preparing, station, uh, uh, positioning their, their pawns. You know, there's a cold war going on. China building more nuke silos. You know, deploying their hypersonic missiles. Russia positioning their men and they're, and they're going to the United Nations. They're going to the, uh, the Security Council meetings and whatever it was you want to name that Russia's sending their ambassadors to. They're telling them, look, y'all stay away from our borders. There's going to be consequences y'all coming toward our fucking borders. And the U.S. is always, always provoking. And the U.S., they've got to remember, they're the ones behind all this, provoking the whole fucking world for to, to total destruction. This is what pleases the goddamn devils, you know? Provoking the whole goddamn, destabilizing the whole motherfucking world, man. Excuse <coughs> my language. But this is the will of the Heavenly Father, man, you know? It's the will of the Heavenly Father. So they're provoking those, they, they're poking the bear, man. They're poking that bear, Ezekiel, Ezekiel 30, 38. I haven't got that in a while. Ezekiel 38, man, they're poking the bear, man. You know, US is trying to fuck with China and Russia's investment in Iran, you know? So this shit is about to pop off, man. So, um, but at the end it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry, wait for it because it shall surely come and will not tarry. And we're seeing these proxies just constantly going at it, man. You know, every time you turn on the internet and go to these webs, the news, or any social media, they're talking about Israel done bomb Iran. Israel done bombed Iran. Israel done killed one of Iranians' top generals. You know, this is going back. This is constantly going on, man. This is constantly going on. <laughs> this is beautiful, man. So eventually it's all going to turn into a hot war. You know? It has to. You know? Because the Lord promised it to happen, man. It's beautiful, though. Because we know it's just a short time. We know. You know? We know it's just a short amount of time. Let me get Matthew 24. You sound like a broken record. I know I do. A harsh broken record. But, you know, got to do what we do. It says this, it says this, Matthew 24. And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am the anointed, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See, thee, see that ye be not troubled. For all these things, for all these things, must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Oh, okay. But the end is not yet. So nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. You even got them saying that. <coughs> uh, they they mentioned a civil war coming to America, but they're saying that it ain't gonna happen till like 2031. Fucking almost damn near 10, 9, 9, 10 years from now. Man, are you fucking crazy, man? Do you not remember what happened um, in 2020 when they, they had the, the, these clowns terrorizing these neighborhoods? You know, these streets tearing, burning down cities, man? You know, speaking about that black, speaking about the Black Lives Matter madness, Antifa and so forth and so on, man. And the everyday average knucklehead dumbass that's just looking to join in you know, just because there's mischief going on. <laughs> Dumbasses, man, running running downtown to, to, to loot and shit. Because they see it as an opportunity. And there's an article that came out with, um, let me see if I can find that. This is, that's the use of the phone I used to use. Um, check this out. I hope it's still on there. More willing it will be.
that it, it, what it said was speaking about why are so many of the youth um, run into trouble or something like that. It's a little special article they, I'm not sure if it was on Drudge or not. Then why are so many youth are so uh, anxious to run toward uh, trouble, you know? Let me zip this bag over here. Hope it's still on here. Like I said, Lord willing, if it still is. Just the Holy Spirit in me out here. So just give me a moment. Let's just show you that these people ain't there ain't no brotherhood amongst the people, man. Because these streets are supposed to be. You know what? To be honest with you, I should be my phone should be, be ringing off the hook with brothers wanting to make videos, wanting to go out and teach constantly, man. And that's just showing you that the laborers are few. You know? It's just proving. Cause these niggas got better, they got other shit to do other than serve the Lord, man. Serving the Lord, ain't, you know, that's the last thing on these motherfuckers' mind. That's the last thing. It's not on here. I know the video, it was a video on, on YouTube. There's an actual video on it, on YouTube, speaking of it. But there's an article as well. While all this, everything's going on, and what everybody's doing is looking for an opportunity to do some stupid shit. You know, what's up, man? I was hoping I'd find it, though. One of the things, one of them articles I should have saved. You see them? Give you examples of, uh, or, or the, I think it's mainly on the, actually New York, um, California, like San Francisco. You see these young fools, they're going in mobs, in mobs, man, going to um, bomb rush these uh, <coughs> major retailers, jewelry stores. Also, man, my, my cousins back in the day, 80s and 90s, man, 80s and 90s, they used to steal cars, back the car up into a, a gun store, man, and it's straight, you know, and run, make off with the loot. You know, my cousins were, they been labeled a gangster was like, you know, still in that same dead state of mind, man. Want to be labeled a goddamn gangster or a player, you know? Dead, man. Spiritually dead. Mentally dead, man. You know? And it was crazy back in the day here in Columbus, man. Crazy back in the day. Walk up to them, they open the trunk. Fucking car law the fucking guns, man. The mouth will drop. You'll never know nothing like this happened. Like, but on them fucking movies, man. But like I said, the 80s and 90s here in Columbus was a, a crazy era, man. It was a crazy era full of lunatics. And same as now, these motherfucking lunatics. I was gonna say lunatics on drugs and high as fuck. Stupid, man. And these same motherfuckers, man, they looting these stores, these major retailers, and making off with. All bags of loot, bags of loot, man. You know, you're not a, without a goddamn care in the world. And there's a scripture on that. Uh, uh, let me think. Uh, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Let me see if I can find that scripture. 
Oh, okay. I know it's Friday since I started coming out on Fridays. It's, it's much, much busier than the, the previous days I would go out. Let me look up this scripture. I know it's in Proverbs, and I know one is in the Proverbs as well. Fools, man, stupid, man. Not knowing that they're condemning themselves, man. You know? Here we go, Proverbs 6 and 18. And heart that devises wicked imagination. So, like, let me start up. These six things that the Lord hate, yea, seven are an abomination unto him, a proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. Maybe out here sneaking, motherfuckers, <laughs> you know. Uh, around these ghost shorties. They out sneaking old women, man, stealing their purses and their, and their bags. Motherfuckers out grocery shopping and Christmas. They out Christmas shopping, well, shouldn't be out Christmas shopping in the first place. Motherfuckers are sneaking on man. While they walking on their way to the car with their bags from these malls and times is getting worse and worse, man. It ain't that these people are desperate to eat because they're starving. These, these people are just, these young motherfuckers are just evil, man. You know, just looking to do wrong, period. You know? And hands that share innocent blood and heart that devises wicked imaginations. Feet that be swift and running to mischief. Because they see a lot of other niggas doing that same shit, man. Let me go run and do it, man. Let's go, let's go get mine, man. Let's go get ours, man. You know? You know? They see the men of the Lord out prophesying, doing the work, and want to teach you and, and, and show you some love so you can grow in wisdom. They won't run to that. See, all these motherfuckers like buying cars, man. And I'm seeing... <coughs> This nigga ain't no more niggas, man. Esau's building it up, though. But some houses, all these houses, man, Edomites are starting to, they moving back in these old-ass homes, man. You know? You don't see none of these motherfuckers pulling over. What's going on, man? You know? Teach me what you know, man. Teach me what you know, man. Ain't none of that going on. But if I was out here flashing cash and shit, had a bag of green, what, you, what they call it with a, a bag of loud. They can make smell from goddamn down the goddamn street. Best believe, oh man, what's up, man? They become instantly brotherly then. What's up, man? What's happening, man? Can I hit that? Can I hit that? So that's mischief. The, script, the scriptures, you know what? Was that 6 and 18? I'm picking up this habit, but I can't help it. Uh, we're going to the, because I'm just curious always what the, the um, NIT say. <laughs> it says this. Let me find this other scripture. We got them these type of examples all over this goddamn city, man. Perfect examples, man. They want to make enemies with the brothers that want to teach righteousness, period. It says this. What's up, fella? Yo, speaking about the lab. This is strong as fuck. Exodus 23 and 2. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil, neither shalt thou speak in a cause to decline after many to rest judgment. You know? 
So you know we in those last days, man. You know? Because if you got a scripture that's telling you, follow not a multitude of two scriptures, when you see uh, nothing but, uh, you see nothing but examples of a multitude doing, running to do evil, you know something's going on, man. You know something's going on. Let's go to the NIT. You must not follow the crowd. You must not follow the crowd in doing wrong. When you are called to testify in a dispute, do not be swayed by the crowd to twist judgment. So that's powerful too. So these niggas is just gone, man. You know? But going back to what I was speaking on, this war, these wars and these rumors of wars that are popping off, um, it's bad, man. It's bad. It's getting real bad out there. Um, Crazy times, man. They got, listen, the first lesbian robots programmed to be gay. It's called In the Valley of the Sex Dolls. Times is evil, city of hate. Columbia, students killed, tourists wounded, and unprovoked stabbing. Just more proof the times is bad, man, that we in the last days. And just reading them, just reading them. Not even going in clicking on them, just reading the, the, the headline. Bank of America executives warn staffers to dress down as NYC crime surges. Better not be out there blinged up and with that three pizza on the wall, or you're gonna be targeted. Evil times, man. Evil fucking times, man. And how you think it is for us out here teaching this word? us making ourselves separate from the rest of the world, man. Evil times, come on, man. Assad recruited top Iran scientists to blow up nuke facilities. Ukraine says Russia the masses 94,000 troops at border. That's what I was looking for. So what's in there? Kremlin said Friday that President Vladimir Putin will seek binder guarantees pre precluding NATO's expansion. NATO's expansion to, to Ukraine. And Russia said there's a red line and they specifically went into that red line, man. Again, America's provoking these people, man. They want to guarantee war. They want, that's, that's their own way of thinking that it's going to save this sorry ass economy. It's going to save this sorry ass place. Wars, man. You know, in that wicked and evil spirit of World War II. These are proud devils, man. During a planned call with U.S. President Biden, while the Ukrainian defense ministers warned that Russia could invade this country next month. Tensions between Russia and the West have escalated in recent weeks. With Ukraine, the U.S., and other Western allies increasingly concerned that the Russian troops in the Ukrainian border could signal Moscow's intentions to invade. This is the war of Armageddon coming. The U.S. has threatened the Kremlin with the toughest sanctions. They can't fuck with them militarily, but ultimately, this cold war that's going on is going to turn into a hot war. If it launched an attack, while Russia has warned that any presence of NATO troops and weapons on Ukrainian Ukrainian soil will cross a red line. See, so it's going to be a miscalculation eventually. 
But let's not forget about Israel and Iran. That's the key. So let me go back to that nuclear. Um, here we go. The Mossad. The Mossad is uh, Israel's version of like uh, the CIA. I can't remember what I'm talking about here. Head is clouded from the head cold. What Russia's is. Intelligent experts. Man. Experts that are uh, uh, experts in deceit. You know? Experts in killing. They got a pass to kill. Experts. They got a, they got a green card to just kill, man. As long as they're doing their government's building. Did it. The side recruiting their team on Iranian nuclear crimes. To carry out a covert operation which blew up one of the regime's most secure nuclear facilities earlier this year, the J.C. Kent revealed. Up to 10 scientists were approached by Israeli agents and agreed to destroy the underground A-1000 centrifuges called in the tents in April. So they're not going to stop until they, this is ultimately going to lead to Iran getting bombed by Israel and the U.S. What's going to bring in? That's going to bring in China and Russia because they have investments in um, Iran. You know? And it's going to eventually happen, man. It's like I said, Ezekiel the 38th chapter. Let me just get that. Ezekiel 38. And there's a lot of scriptures, man. When you're going into this destruction, man, it's 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 all it's comforting in a way. It's it, I say in a way, it's comforting. Because you know it's the end, man. And it's what we've been praying for, you know. Tired, you know, just like I said. Like we said, man, this as it looks like business as usual. You know, look how it looks like now. There ain't no way this place is gonna be the stable, ain't no way there's gonna be civil war. Ain't, ain't no way there's only killing the streets. That's how it looks if you're just looking. If you're in that deep sleep, you're in that deep slumber, man. It's like, oh, man, this, it, it'll never happen. That's why you got them demons rising up saying this is a book of fairy tales, man. Hey, hey, what's going to happen when the Lord starts visiting them? What are they going to be saying then? Oh, Lord, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ezekiel 38, and the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, the, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and prophesy against him. He said, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against thee, O God, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws. That's them provoking, that's, they're poking the Russian bear. They're fucking with the Russian bear, with the with the military. You seen what's going on in the world, man? Oh, hell yeah. You see? What's, oh, it, yeah. what's it telling you? World War III is coming. Oh, yeah. You know it's prophesied in the Bible, right? There you go. That's what I'm reading. Yeah, because my, my dad was in World War II. Okay. My and my brother was. was in Vietnam. Yeah, my dad was in Vietnam. Yeah, and... This uh, place is all, you know, since... 1776 this place has been at war but for 22 years oh yeah there's only 22 years in this whole time america has not been at war with someone else they, they, you know they, yeah. Oh, yeah. don't you think the judgment this place has to be judged and according yeah, to the yeah. bible oh, according yeah. to the bible this place is about to get destroyed by russia like they're on nuclear missiles oh yeah you know oh yeah and, 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 and that's prophesied 
But it's prophesied that the Lord's elect people, while those missiles is coming, his elect people gonna be lifted up out of here. There you go. You know? Oh, yeah. But you got these fools talking about how they say they're going around like nothing, but nothing can touch them. Yeah, but right. They got, Wrong but, idea. Well, why did they go get that? Uh, why are they worried about them bottles you know, wearing a mask? And, yeah. <laughs> if they say it. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's what we made them say is when the Lord gets us a bottle of this nightmare. But that's what we live here, man. We live in the nightmare. Oh, yeah, we are. Can't pay bills. Oh, yeah. Can't pay bills. Oh, yeah. Can't pay bills. Can't pay bills. Can't pay bills. Can't pay bills. In debt. Yeah. It's a wicked ass place, man. It is. And it got us against each other. Don't oh, it? yeah. You know? I know they do. More signs of the last day. That's the oh, only yeah. way they can continue doing that wicked bullshit is by keeping us divided and fighting. There you go. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. You know, a lot of us are brothers and don't even fucking know it. Yeah. Because yeah. we look like we're fucking all these guys. We can still be fucking related, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> Did you know that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. But we fighting, though. There you right? go. Like I said, in the last days, evil is going to be worse and worse and worse and multiplying. Oh, yeah. And this is all going to be provoked by the Lord, class wars. Because these oh, motherfuckers yeah. are sick of seeing these rich folks that are building up those big-ass houses over there. Oh, yeah. And while these motherfuckers are going to come against each other. Oh, There's going to yeah. be race wars. Yeah. There's going to be religious wars. Because, you know, oh, yeah. this uh, the Lord um, here in Babylon, he, he brought a lot of these... African nation brought a lot of this Arab yeah. they, they, they're under that false uh, religion of Islam. Oh yeah. And you know Islam can't stand Christians. Right. Christians and whatever can't and they and Islam can't stand the Jews. There you go. There you go. <laughs> it's gonna be, it's gonna be, like I said, all, all these major wars is gonna be America's gonna be a hot spot of bloodshed, oh, yeah. man. Hell yeah. You know? It's like it's like I see people from Japan come coming up here. Yeah, yeah. My brother's married to a Japanese woman. Right. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. And another thing, um, as far as the civil war, the civil war is coming. Oh yeah. You know, you got the Democrats. Yeah. They can't stand the Republicans. Oh, we want we want Trump back. No Biden. We want Biden. You know. Yeah. Neither one of them got them devils in this country. They're all part. Listen, no part. They're all part of the system. Thing that you only way you're gonna be safe is if you serve the Lord. There you go. You serve the Lord, and He's gonna protect you. Yep. You know, and the rest that's out here going, going looking for wrong and looking for evil, He's not gonna cover them. He's gonna protect them. He's gonna let them kill each other oh, and swallow yeah. each other. You know, oh, yeah. until He until He ends it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let me go back to Ezekiel. I was going to read something for you, but I know it's just, you know, being, you know. You know how they act like they already know. They act like they already know. Some people just can't tell them nothing. Just, it's always, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, I know, I know, I know. You know? Oh well. Just something to kill time. <laughs> All right. And thus, and say, thus saith the Lord, behold, I will, I am against thee, O God, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth, and all thy armies, horses and horsemen, all them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. World War Three is coming. What's up, man? What's up, man? What's up? World War Three is coming. So, World War Three is coming, like I was saying. You know, 
It's that drum beat. It's that drum beat. So what's this going into? It's going to explain how Russia is the, the guard over everybody. It's the bodyguard, you know? Um, Persia, Ethiopia, and that's Persia. Persia, that's Iran. All right? Persia is Iran. Ethiopia and Libya with them, all of them with shields and helmets. Goma and all his bands, the horse, the house of Tegamar of the North Quarters, and all his bands and many people with thee. Be thou prepared and prepare for thyself, thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto thee. So this shit is about to kick off with um, uh, 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 Babylon and Israel, man, teaming up. And whatever other fools that's going to band together with America, with Babylon and Israel. This is that war, man, that we've been praying for. We, You know, and what I mean by praying for, we hope this shit happens now. We want all this shit. We want everything to just happen now, man. The scripture says, throw a Terry, wait for it, you know. We're waiting for it, but we want it to happen now, you know. Because it's going to be the whole planet, this whole goddamn planet is going to be a, um, um, uh, uh, a, a tinder keg or a, a fucking hot spot. This whole fucking earth, man, this whole planet, ain't nobody going to be safe, man. There's going to be wars all over this motherfucker, man. You know? After many days, thou shalt be visited in the latter years, thou shalt come into the land that is not let me get to my other scripture right here. Uh, Jeremiah 50 and 9. I'm going to start at 1 though. Jeremiah 50 and 1. You know what? Obadiah. Because right now, while Babylon is destabilizing the world, having these countries hurt themselves with all these bullshit sanctions and shit, they don't even realize they're making it. And they don't care about the, the enemies that they're making, making with their fucking allies. They don't care less, man. Because eventually, how they looking at all, they're going to bow down to us anyway, because we got the we got the bigger sword. That's how they looking at it, man. That's a proud nation, man. You know? That's a proud nation where its pride is... is, is uh, it's, it's, it's all because of those swords, the, the weapons, those missiles that they have. That massive army that the, the, the Halbush Shimmy Hawashai gave them the power to build up. But the Lord only made that na this, this nation's army great just so he can destroy it, you know? So Obadiah, the book of Obadiah. I'm coming back to this Jeremiah 50. This place is continually making enemies, man. In hell, look at the enemies it's half within. Look at the enemies of this place that it has with them. You know? You know? With the divisions with these uh, with these Democrats and Republicans that I was trying to mention to the brother how everybody's bickering back and forth like our man is better than your man, my daddy's bigger than your daddy. That type of foolish way Biden and Trump. When all them motherfuckers is juiced in. All them, all them, all them goddamn demons is part of the goddamn system. You got, you got these fools who actually believe Trump is against the system, man. That motherfucker was on an airplane going, he was on those private jets going to uh, um, Epstein's Island right along with Obama and and uh, Prince, uh, whatever that prince's name is who got caught. <laughs> he was right along with him on that island, man going to molester his little boys and girls. You know? Right along with him, man. Yeah, Trump wouldn't have been president unless he was part of the goddamn system. Good job. i blow my nose. So you go, Obadiah. The vision of Obadiah thus said the Lord power concerning Edom. And you already know who Edom is. We have heard a rumor from the Lord, an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen, thou art greatly despised. And you already know who that is, small among the heathen. That's 
That's the, that's the master of identity thief, theft. The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee. Thou hast thou that dwellest in the cleft of the rock whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, Who shall bring me down to the ground? Though thou exalt thyself as an eagle, and though thou set thy nest amongst the stars, and, and that eagle, who's known to be, um, who's known to have the eagle, eagle as their rep? Um, going back to the ancient Ro uh, empire, the Roman Empire, which America is that the Roman ancient empire um, um, reborn, you know? It's been brought right back to life, America, okay? So though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest amongst the stars, this will I bring thee down, said the Lord. And this is often talking about E as a whole, the elites of the E as a whole, you know? So let me go to this Roman, this Obadiah, so I can Jeremiah 50. Here we go, Jeremiah 50 and 1. Jeremiah 50 and 1. What's up, fellas? What am I doing out here prophesying, bro? The scriptures. Yeah, the scriptures prophesy. The scriptures talk about prophesy the destruction of America. And America in the Bible is referred to as Babylon, Egypt, all right? But when you go to the book of Revelation, it's referred to as mystery Babylon, all right? So in order to know why it's referred to as mystery, it's supposed to be a hidden thing. But it's hidden in plain sight. Proof that it's mystery Babylon, all right? But one of the main things, Babylon, which is a Hebrew word, babal, which means confusion. By them pushing confusion on the people. Like your children, it's like using a child as an example. A child can't, your kid can't, he can't, he can't choose his own bedtime. But that child in, in Babylon, America, can choose his fucking identity now. That child can, oh. That little boy can be a, a little girl now. And your parents have to uphold it. You know what I mean? And if not, the parents are going to go to jail. That's, the, that's, that's an example of that confusion it pushes, you know? As I walk with him, there's a party behind a cabin. I get to thinking about New Babylon rebuilding the catastrophe of 9 11. Right. I come to the assumption I'm no longer living. Right. You see dead man walking well, inside this enslaved nation. Beautiful. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's why we got a birth certificate, you know, death certificate. That's why we got social security number of slaves, man. So I get around. Okay, man. All right, man. You too, bro. You said something that made a little bit of sense, man. You know, but on the whole, Jake bugged out, man. <laughs> Jake bugged out on the whole, man. <laughs> Oh, Lord have mercy. Where was I at? Jeremiah 50 and 1. The word that the Lord spake. And that's why I'm saying to everybody that even comes up now. Hey, I'm just going to continue to go with the flow, with the spirit, because the spirit is, this place is going down. And, and, you know, and whether people are so numb to it or not, you know, this place is going down. Man, ain't no but signs of this place going down everywhere, man. Massive debts, you know, these pandemics that they got. Uh, going down. Now here we go with this new this variant. You can go back to the 60s and 70s and old sci-fi movies. They got movies that was named after the new the new one coming out now. What's it called? I'm a, some of that extent. I ain't gonna say it though because it always getting strikes on that shit. That new variant and shit. That new variant. This is crazy, man. When you read it, <laughs> let me read it. 
I gotta read this, man. Cause it's actually literally kind of funny. I hope if I can find it. I'm not sure if I saved it or not. Like I said, I'll save some of the stuff. I got a whole list of athletes that dropped dead from taking that serum. That witch's serum, man. I got a whole list of athletes that dropped dead. And you can confirm it. It ain't something that's fucking made up. It might not have. Ah. That's all right. When these movies that's named after, it's always, when you read it, and that's every movie, all the movies, man, when you read it, it's always telling you how it's a, it's a, 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 a alien virus that came to planet Earth and kissed on the killing off the people. Just, the devil's doing that same thing, man. What he did, he put these things in movies to warn the people. But the people are looking at it as it's entertainment, not knowing that this devil has sent a message that he's about to start killing the people, you know? about to start taking the dead out and that's what he was saying dude said he said he's dead that walked off he thought he's coming back he said he's dead he's walking dead that's what dude said he's dead you know that's the that's those dry bones you know that's the people that are spiritually and physically that are spiritually dead man in most cases uh, uh, uh physically for taking that serum you know and that's ezekiel 37 i'm thinking Ezekiel 37 speaking about the dirty speaking about the dry bones you know so let me get back into it the word that the Lord spake unto Babylon and against the land of the Chaldeans by Jim I like this spot, man. Because it gives, it's, a, it's traffic, it's traffic. There's nothing but traffic, man. And, it's, and, what's, and it, this area has a lot of those that are struggling, has a lot of the rich and literally rich, you know, the 12 tribes, you know, is coming through here. The word, the word that the Lord spake against Babylon and against the land of the Chaldeans by Jeremiah the prophet, it says, the ye among the nations and publish and set up a standard. Publish. Let me go and see what that says. Jeremiah 50 and 2. Jeremiah 15 2. I'm looking for the word published. Carry thee among the nations and publish. Declare ye among the nations and publish Samar. To hear, listen to, obey. To hear, perceive, to hear, to hear perceive by hearing. The scriptures mention, he that had ears to hear and eyes to see. The scripture, the Lord, the Lord says that. 
you know? Meaning, have an understanding. All right? So it's, like I said, to perceive by ear, to hear or of or concerning, to hear, have power to hear, to hear with attention or, or interest, listen to, to understand, all right? To hear, to listen, give heed, to consent, agree, to grant requests, to listen to, yield to, to obey, and be obedient, which the Lord requires you to be obedient. He requires you to listen. He requires you to hear, to be heard, to be heard of. And that's where I'm at now. That's what I was looking for, to be heard, a voice or sound, to be heard of, to be regarded, to be obeyed, to cause to hear, and that's enough, it goes on, man. To cause to be heard. So the scripture says, and this is, and I'm telling you, if y'all knew through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, this what dangers he's bringing and what he's about to do to the world and to this wicked ass queendom kingdom, you would listen. You know, simple basic message, man. Okay, so it says, declare ye among the nations and publish and set up a standard. Publish and conceal not. Say Babylon is taken. Bell is confounded. Babylon is taken. This place is on its way out, man. You know? Because it's been a, a nation of uh, uh it's been a nation of, of bloodthirsty devils, man. You know? That's all Babylon is, is a nation of bloodthirsty devils, man. You know? Unjust, bloodthirsty, unjust, unholy, wicked, bloodthirsty devils. You know? And conceal not say Babylon is taken, Baal is confounded. Merodach, all the gods it follows, you know? Mer Merodach is broken in pieces, and that's the ultimate goal that the Lord is gonna perform. He's gonna destroy the idols, you know? And you see a lot of their idols are dropping dead from drinking that goddamn serum, you know? Her idols are confounded. Her images are broken in pieces. Oh, let me pull that up. I mean, that word confounded. Her idols are confounded. The broken piece of her idols are confounded. Y'all boss. To make dry, withered, be dry, become dry, be dried up, be withered. To make dry, dry up, to dry up, to make dry. Her images are broken in pieces. For out of the north, <coughs> I'm getting my Bible. For out of the north, there cometh a nation against her, which shall make her land desolate and none shall dwell therein. They shall remove, they shall depart. And where is Russia? North of here. All right? You go right over the north, go north, further you go north, to Alaska, you know what you're gonna hit. And that's where a lot of those missiles are gonna come with the quickness, over Alaska. Right now, uh, Russia is setting up bases in, uh, in, uh, in North America, setting up bases there. There was a rush to uh, gain control of that place, man. You know, and Russia beat the Americans there. Russia was always far ahead of America, especially when dealing with uh, cold environments. You know, they've always been dealing with those cold environments. But Russians, man, they, they, they're some tough motherfuckers, man. You know, they're some rough individuals, man. You watch, just listen, look at the, some of the videos of their training. You know, it'll blow your damn mind, man. So them Russians, man, they're looking, they can't, they can't wait to get their fingers on some of these um, cross-dressed, cross-dressing um, 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 mighty men of Babylon, <laughs> you know? So for out of the north, there cometh up a nation against her, which shall make her land desolate. 
Hey, the scripture says, Behold, the eyes of the Lord power are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. That's what the scripture says. He's about to wipe his little empty place off the face of the earth, man. And they can't imagine it, man, because like I said, look, it looks like this business as usual. You know? And with that pride, can't nobody touch this place, man. We got the greatest military. They really believe in their heart that America got this place guarded by missile defense systems and by every square inch, you know? Not knowing that the scripture says that, well, first of all, the, the, the shield act has always been thrown down. And if one part of it passed, but it's a little bit too late, man. It's a little bit too late for this missile defense system. And that shield act is in the gifts incoming missiles. That shit, the, whatever they got to protect us is protecting just their military bases. They care less about the small, these, these uh, uh, urban areas, man. This goddamn devil can care less about these black, these so called the jakes that's in the hood. They can care less, man. They plan on protecting their military, their, their military uh, facilities. What do they call them? Them dumbs. Deep underground military bunkers. Them dumbs. You a dumb motherfucker you go up in one of them motherfuckers. It's going to be your tomb. You know? It's gonna straight up be your tomb. You know? So, again, part of it has passed, but the part that passed is protect, it's to protect, they're trying to rush to protect the electrical grid because they see the lights turning out. The scripture said, the day of the Lord is darkness and not light. The lights is gonna turn out, man, and them lights ain't coming back on. Just like ancient Egypt, the Lord, the Lord turned the lights off. He turned the lights off. That thick darkness that can be felt, man. So look up videos on um, electromagnetic pulses. They know it's coming. They they mention it's gonna come by the, the, the sun, solar flares, or, and there's some experts are saying that they know that it's gonna come by uh, uh, EMP, an electromagnetic pulse. That's an acronym for electromagnetic pulse. You know, they know it's coming, you know? So it's just how it's going to come, when it's going to come. It's going to come. And it's going to come for this war. And uh, there's a video, still over on YouTube because I can't find it, speaking about how North Korea, and this is years ago, North Korea even have advanced uh, missiles because as far as uh, uh, thermonuclear missiles or that EMP, you know? Except North Korea got North Korea, and it's a small little ass North Korea. We're not mentioning Russia and China. North Korea has satellites circling the globe continuously. You know? This place is done, man. That's why North Korea is, is, uh, is scoffing at America. That's why North Korea is puffing at America. Little ass North Korea. They can care less about Babylon, man. As you have, have you became weak as me? They got the missile technology. They can give a fuck. They ready to go to war, man. You know? <laughs> it says, we shall make her de land desolate and none shall dwell therein. They shall remove, they shall depart both man and beast. In those days and in that time, said the Lord, the children of Israel shall come. They and the children of Judah together going and weeping, they shall go and seek the Lord their power in the land of their captivity, you know? We're, and that's how you know we're those people. That's how you know we're in that time. Because before, we didn't know who we were. But look at us, we're waking up now. We're going to remember, in the, let me see if I can find it. I'm just going to quote it. In the land of our, in the, in the land of our captivity, we're going to remember in the land of our captivity. So I know I'm not prepared for it. You know? So it's in a, and, and seek the Lord their power. They shall ask the way to Zion with their faces given, saying, Come and let us join ourselves to the Lord in a perpetual covenant that shall not be forgotten. And, that, and how do you do that? By coming out here on these on these streets, man. You know? By coming out here on these streets. They shall ask the way to Zion with their faces there. I read that my people 
have been lost sheep. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. And that's why I was mentioning Ezekiel, the 37th chapter, when the dude was saying, he's dead. He said, he literally said he was dead. I'm dead. He really said a couple of bugged out things, but he said he's dead, which he's correct, man. You know, the Valley of Dry Bones, that Valley of Dry Bones is America, you know? My people have been lost sheep. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. Their shepherds are really, uh, really, uh, spiritual religious leaders. It goes much deeper than that. Uh, even those of the, <coughs> of that circumcision, those, even those that know that they're Israelites are pushing the people to go astray, man. Going off like a motherfucker, going off, you know? It's much more than this than learning that you're a Hebrew Israelite. There's a truth behind that. There's an actual truth behind you just learning who you really are, man. That's your, your true nationality of being a Hebrew Israelite, not a black Hebrew. Because ain't no goddamn such thing as a black Hebrew Israelite. We are, it's just simple as this. Hebrew Israelites. People of Negro and Indian descent. And you know, and mention, and, and you gotta mention the, the, the elect scatter that are scattered amongst the other nations. Hebrew Israelites, man. No matter what he looks like, if he's a if his fathers go back to uh, the Hebrew Israelite, he's a Hebrew Israelite. Period. Whole different topic, man. But if your simple ass is walking and scoffing, you ain't gonna never learn none of this beautiful, none of this, none of this beautiful truth, man. This truth that's literally set your ass free in your mind, man. You ain't free, you know, to do what you want. You're freeing your mind to the truth. You're freeing your mind that you're no longer, uh, 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 well, you are, you in this flesh, you in this flesh, you know, but you, you, you now have the key to fight against this flesh. You know? They have turned them away on the mountains. They have gone from mountain to hill. They have forgotten their resting place. All that found them have devoured them. And their adversary said, we will fear not because they have sinned against the Lord. The habitation of justice, even the Lord, the hope of their fathers. Remove out of the midst of Babylon and go forth out of the land of the Chaldeans and be as he the, as the heat goes before the flocks. For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations. You know? And if you're, you've been watching, you'll notice that, man, there's a whole world, there's a whole mess of, heap of mess going on in this world, man, that's going to have, eventually have these people shooting missiles at each other. You know? You know, you think it just because it's way on the other side of the fucking world, you think it ain't gonna, it ain't got nothing to do with you. You think it'll never affect you. Man, that's a foolish way of thinking, man. Those missiles are on the fucking way, you know? And not just that, the invading armies is on the way. Invading armies, man. The Book of Apocalypse mentions how they gonna be invading and, um, and, um, invading one another, sparing none. says spare none he says this in the second Ezra is a 16 chapter for there shall be in every place and in the next cities, a great insurrection. Hey, dudes would have stayed, man. We could have, we could have been going through this shit together. They would have learned this together. Slot with them on the shit. Figure of speech. They would have known all this, man. They would be learning all this. For there shall be in every place, and in the next cities, um, 
The next song, Coral Cities. A great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They shall be like mad men. They shall be like mad men, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Madness, nightmare, a nightmare scenario is about to play out. You know? Let me go to the 15th chapter. Let me go back to the past. Jeremiah 50. to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country and they shall set themselves in array against her there's been um, sightings of uh, Chinese submarines um, in the Pacific Ocean there's been sightings of Russians in the, uh, the Gulf of Mexico you know, you already know they're in Cuba. You know, if the Russians or China's close by. But this devil's going to send it against these, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the civil war. <laughs> you know, he's going to send those troops in. He says, from thence, shall she be taken from this she shall be taken their arrows shall be as of a mighty expert man none shall return in vain and Chaldea shall be the, this, this place of witches this place this, this place of witches and Chaldea shall be a spoil and all that spoil her shall be satisfied said the Lord and I'm telling you man you going up and down these highways and you get off, I mean like these state routes, going into some of these small cities, entering in them at the beginning, you will see that they have signs up of their Freemasonry, of their secret societies, you know? I should have took a couple of pictures of them, examples of them, but entering into a lot of these small cities, through a lot of these state routes, you'll see they put up signs coming in with, uh, that they're Freemasons. You know, what power is lying is running that, that town, that village, or that city, you know? Because they've seen we find the places here in Babylon um, with, uh, as villages, you know? And Chaldea shall be a spoil. All that spoil her shall be satisfied, said the Lord, because ye were glad, because ye rejoiced, O ye destroyers of my heritage, because ye are all grown fat as the heifer and grass. And Bella and Bill, you know, with all the power in their hands, doing what they want, doing whatever the hell they want, you know, and none of it's of righteousness, none of it is of righteous judgment, none, you know. Your mother shall be sour confounded; she that bear you shall be ashamed. Behold, the hindermost of the nations shall be a wilderness, a dry land, and a desert. Because of the wrath of the Lord, it shall not be inhabited. And that's the ultimate end. This place is never going to be inhabited again. This place is just going to be as a memorial, a reminder of that nightmare we went through, of when we were going off, when we transgressed against the house of our You know? Everyone that goeth by, because the wrath of the Lord, it shall not be inhabited. But that shall be holy desolate. Everyone that goeth by Babylon shall be astonished at this and all her plagues. Put yourself in a way against Babylon round about all ye that bend the bow. Shoot at her. Spare no arrows, for she has sinned against the Lord. Ooh, ooh. Let me 
get the scripture. Get my phone out. Hold on. It's gonna burn on the missus too. Got all deck of Christmas on that some shit. A grown ass old man. Stupid. Stupid. Ain't nothing about that Christmas shit biblical either. Tis the season to be fucking jolly. Stupid. Man. Jeremiah 10. Here we go. Revelation 18 chapter. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, 18 and 1, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mildly with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. <laughs> you know, so like I said, we're never going to have this land again. It's for a memorial, man. This is for all those dragons and lizards and snakes and eagles and vultures and shit. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, her democracy. And you know what the democracy entail. What kind of filthy wickedness. And the kings of the earth have committed fornications with her. And the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through her abundance of her delicacies. My head cloudy as a motherfucker, man. It's the spirit of the Lord I'm going through this. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. And that, that went through that again. It says here, it's already about... Um, My people have been lost sheep. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. They have turned them away on the mountains. They have gone from the mountain to hill. They have forgotten their resting place. All that found them have devoured them. And their adversaries said, We offend not because they have sinned against the Lord. The habitation of justice, even the Lord, the hope of their fathers. We move out of the midst of Babylon and go forth out of the land of the Chaldeans and be as the he goes before the flocks. For lo, so. Going back to this. And I heard a voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, that ye receive not of her plagues, for her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High had remembered her iniquities. Reward her, even as she rewarded you, and double unto her, double according to her works, and the cup which she had filled, filled to her double, how much she have glorified herself and lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her, for she saith in her heart, I sit a queen, and am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning, and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord power who judges her. And we're telling you how it's, going to, how it's coming, man, and this has all been played out. It's all being provoked, you know? It's all being provoked. Which, you know, when we telling Jake, man, y'all got to come out of this place. I better wake the fuck up. Scripture says, uh, wake up out of thy sleep because our salvation is near to what God believes. 
wake up out of that goddamn sleep, man. You know? And those plagues, man. Whew. Therefore shall her slaves come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord power who judgeth her. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her, because ain't no more benefits, that ain't no money that no more of that loot. You know, no more benefit from Babylon giving y'all a few crumbs from all the oil and natural resources and whatever they stole from whatever nations. No more benefiting from that, you know. Shall be well her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning, standing afar off from the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, America. That mighty city, and nobody doesn't even go and can touch our military. We got the greatest military in the world, dude. Stand afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour, man, the vanguard, these hypersonic, these hypersonic missiles, man. Seventeen seventy six to this point, and I know it goes back a little further, but seventeen seventy six to this point, it's a long ass fucking time, man. All that labor, all that wickedness, laboring of wickedness that this place been doing, they thought they was guaranteeing their survival. They thought they was guaranteeing this place was going on forever. David scripture even said the inward thought of them is that their houses shall dwell forever. They thought this shit was going to go on forever. I got to get that. Man, all these scriptures, I, I can't even hold them all. For see, for he seeth Psalm 140, Psalm 49 and 10. For he seeth that wise men die, likewise the fool and the beautiful person perish and leave their wealth to others. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. Nevertheless, man being in honor abideth not. He is like a beast that perish. This their way is their folly. Yet their posterity <laughs> approves their saying so long. Revelation 18. What's up, brother? What's up, man? What's up? What's that? No, nah, it's a teaching video on the Bible and prophecies. See the signs here? Oh, so I, I see the signs. This is all biblical. I didn't see all my signs. Yeah, that, I upload it all to the inter internet every week for people to go to and you can learn from it. Like, the other prophets of the Lord are doing around with all of this sorry ass country Babylon. As the Lord got his men out here on the highways and byways prophesying. It's the about Ezekiel. What about Ezekiel? It's a man of the Lord, Ezekiel. That's one of my favorite books in the Bible, Ezekiel. 
Ezekiel speaks of UFOs, you know that, don't you? The book of Ezekiel speaks about Russia destroying America by thermonuclear missiles. And not just Russia, Russia and its allies. And what's funny, this is funny, this is funny, because I'm actually reading about that. Russia and its allies and America allies is going to help destroy this fucking place by thermonuclear missiles. By thermonuclear missiles, the, the Bible mentioned this place being destroyed by thermonuclear missiles. Now, it mentioned for second death. Now, I'm asking a simple question. You don't have to know. It's all blind trying to put you on the spot. But you know what the first is? You know what the first death is? Death. The, the Bible mentions the first death. Okay, the first death was the flood. Remember Noah? The, when the Lord flooded the earth, killed the wicked, and just saved Noah and his sons and their wives, there was the first death by the flood. But the Bible mentions the second death. What is that? Which one? What's that again? Um, the book of Genesis. Genesis. That's the beginning. That was all the beginning. Read the Bible. It's a bad book, man. You like comic books? Yeah. Now, listen. The Bible is much better than a comic book because it speaks about superpowers. It speaks about dinosaurs, Godzilla. And he's speaking about what we're talking about now, thermonuclear missile. Now, listen. The Bible was written like right, over 2,000 years ago. But back then, they were prophesying about thermonuclear missiles. Well, you're talking about how it was interpreted, how it was translated from the um, out of the Hebrew language, out of Hebrew and the Greek, I and translated into the English, how we're able to read the King James version. Right. Jesus died 2,000 years ago. Exactly. But they still, had, they, had, they still had the word. They had a written in scrolls back right then. It wasn't written on the, in, the, in the form of the Bible. Where King James, who was a black man, him and scholars, like I said, got together and put it into the English language so that, like I said, we were, it was prophesied that we were going to be in this land and we will remember who we were in the land of our captivity. So how do we get here in America? Our people. We were snatched out of our land and brought here on, on cargo slave ships, right? Yeah. Check this out. Check this out. Jim, Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt, America's Egypt, because he's following all the customs of ancient Egypt. The gods are following. When you look at the money, you got pyramids and ovalists on it. All right? So, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Again with ships. So we're on cargo slave ships. That's
Concerning the music, it's always been the world. But these Jews have hijacked the music industry. That's why you're seeing the women now are the main rappers. And you see them rapping, but damn near butt fucking naked. Yeah. They just stripped them of their fucking morals. You know what I'm saying? That's these people that's claiming to be us, controlling the whole fucking world. But what they're doing is they're trying to get the birth like that by destroying us as a nation. They think that's the way they get the birth like that. Beautiful. 
so man, this will give you an idea or give you a vision on his characteristics and what type of person the Lord actually was. And by using the scriptures, I'm going to show you the type of person the Lord actually was. I'm going to go around and kiss him, baby. I love him, my brother. I love him. He's going to be on the sofa. I love him. He's going to He was a rough man. He was tough. That's why they killed him. That's why they killed him. You know? So check this out. teach you, you do what the fuck you want as long as it makes you happy. <laughs> Check it out. Uh, here we go. Etymology Dictionary. So the world is about to learn this. The world is about to learn the hard work. The world is It's only a few elect that's going to wake up and be like, man, I can't, I, I, I know I shouldn't be fucking like you, man.
So he wouldn't want no sister. He was a mean motherfucker. So he went to the room and get out the streets and he was telling you to be a man. And this is what we're coming back to, being a man again. Instead of being like, like this world. This world wants you to bend over and get fisted in the ass. Don't it? That's the world. The world wants you to be a goddamn sodomite. In fact, it wants you to suck the rods and shit. Want your children to be choose who the fuck they want to be. You want your sons to choose to be a woman. Nah, he's a man. He tells you he's a man. This motherfucker had nerve to say maybe God's a female. Hey, sometimes the Holy Spirit gotta smack the shit out of a motherfucker. Dumbass. He's a fucking dumbass, man. Maybe God's a female. Stupid ass. Anyway, I'm gonna shut it down. So, um, like I said, I hope y'all can get blessed with more than wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to continue on doing this work. You know, continue on doing this work of the Lord. You know, stay strong. Um, and, uh, stay strong. And, um, and double honest to the apostles of Great Millstone. Elders. All right. So with that, I'd uh, uh, like to give thanks to the Howard Bishop and all for allowing me to continue to come out here and do this work and be an example of the Howard Bishop and all on this earth, you know, to the end. So till next time, we're willing to shut it